Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ARLO. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's very nice movement, once again, updates need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do here is a little house cleaning and get rid of these lines down here. Sure, those levels still pertain to the chart, they're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep mapping out this and, and you know just keep the annotations to a minimum so that it's easiest uh, to kind of digest what's going on. But the first level that needs to be updated is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So 395 was that key level of resistance going into today. But now that the price is broken up above it, that would be one of the newest areas of support. And what I would call the ideal level, and we've said, hey Clay, would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward. And that would definitely be if the price can stay up above that level. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below that area, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that area, then that would certainly be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period, simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you best visualize that? That is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 395 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance moving forward? As far as where the sellers are at, initial level gonna be right here where the price struggled several times today around 425. In the event though the price can push up through 425, next key overarching level after that point. So we're now on the daily time frame here, but next key level would be right up there around these highs, which sit around $4.50. But no doubt about it, past couple of days of the week, very, very solid movement, great volume. Now it's just a question of can the price continue to build upon this momentum next week? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.